edge microscopy or dark field microscopy. It's a, it's a wonderful diagnostic technique where um, many natural practitioners, where did you do that? With Dr. Young. With Dr. Young? Oh, that's great. Dr. Young is a pioneer of that technique actually. And uh, uh, we do it in our clinic, Dr. Tom does that. Um, in Santa Cruz and there are quite a few people who do that but it's a wonderful thing and I have I've learned some very very simple um, tools how to use that is that you take a drop of blood and put it into onto a slide with a cover slip and then that whatever is being seen in the slide is projected on a television screen and for some time you're actually looking at how your drop of blood is behaving so it's a live tissue which is under the slide there and you're looking on a big screen that there are these double red blood cells which are flying in the air. It shows you the quality of the water in the background. It shows you the quality of the, uh, the white blood cells. So they are going around and they are gobbling some impurities and toxins and everything. It also shows the, the dumpling, the red blood cells, they look like, like a donut. So they are pulsating. They're pulsating, it shows their, uh, their shape, it shows their size, it shows their activity, it shows how far they're active, it shows the quality of the hydration, it also tells you whether they're getting dry, it shows whether they're getting stiff, they're they are getting irregular in shape, it shows some fibrin deposits where it gets very, very yucky and blocked and everything. It shows if, if the red blood cells have gotten very sticky and they stack on each other, they call it as rouleau, where they stack on each other, where it impedes them from oxygenating properly. So it's a snapshot of that for, for a minute or two to tell you how your body is behaving. Because this is the river. This is the river of your body. And I'm taking a sample of that water and looking it under microscope and telling, oh yeah, if this is the quality of the blood you have, forget about everything else, what is going on? Okay, because if your blood is good, your body's tissues will feel much more happy and active. But if the quality of the blood is not that great, then you will feel exhausted. Then you will feel not able to carry the nutrients, not able to oxygenate everywhere else. We used to do that in people before and after Panchakarma regularly. So we, we used to do that three weeks before they do the Panchakarma, look their blood, show it to them. And we can give them a video cassette to them that this is how it looked before and this is how it looks afterward because you have to change that structure how your blood behaves. And if you, if you know someone in your, in your area who can do that, go and do that. It's quite an experience. It's called as dark field microscopy or live blood microscopy. And you can look it up on the web and it'll tell you also quite a bit about that. And when your body is very acidic, your blood looks very sticky and blocked. And when you make your body a bit alkaline and your blood a bit alkaline, everything starts moving and flowing much more easily. And so it's a, it's a general rule where in Ayurveda we say when you have too much of pitta and vata imbalance, the blood will get dry, the blood will get very sticky. When you have too much of inflammatory ama, it will get very acidotic in the body. And when you make it alkaline, the things will start flowing much more easily. So it's a very interesting tissue. Rakta is a very interesting tissue because technically most of the reports what you get is based upon blood, isn't it? You send a sample and then it will tell you what's going on. Do they have to l take a look at all of your 5 liters blood to tell you what's going on? They just take maybe, maybe a little sample of it.